CBS World News, Bob Trout speaking. And again, we bring you the available reports, all of them from German sources, on what the Berlin radio calls the invasion. There is still no Allied confirmation from any source. Correspondents who rushed to the War Department in Washington soon after the first German broadcast was heard were told that our War Department had no information on the German reports. There's been no announcement of any sort from Allied headquarters in London. The first news of the German... Well, hello, YouTubers. Well, it's Saturday again. That seems to be my usual opening. And we're at Skippy's again. Say hi, Skippy. Hi, Skippy. And uh, it's been a rather interesting day so far. We've been at it for a couple hours now, a few hours. Yeah, about three or four. Something like that. So, let me start you off with today's festivities. Shouldn't be a long video. Shouldn't be. Let me spin you around here and we'll show you what's going on. So, happy boys over there cleaning up. But, uh, so, we started off with getting a box of assorted pieces together. So, Sean got the Next week. Levers transferred over from the old carburetor we pulled off last video to the new old stock one. So we're kind of gathering up stuff. He's got uh, new plugs and more new plugs and a new fuel pump. Got a new cap for the and put a new cap on a distributor we rebuilt. A new and a governor and a new coil and we made some spark plug wires. Just a silly little tractor supply. Um, cheapy set which by the way save your money don't get them they're kind of hokey but i threw them together for him because he didn't know how to do that and then we started off into the fun project so happy got a new outer speedometer cable and it's new old stock there it is uh, now that's the inner. Oh yeah, this is the inner. So this is the inner drive shaft or speedo cable from 1961, new old stock. So yeah, we got that. That's a uh, festive. So and then he had the outer. It's a new outer. Which so it, we, just, it just came with us. Right. So we proceeded to try figuring, oh, this is easy. We'll just put the new inner and the new outer, and that'll be it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, this project. A couple hours later, uh, come to find out, and we even dug out the book, and uh, so here's the TM manual. Oh, you'll get a kick out of this. So here's the TM manual. And it says, to assemble speedometer drive shaft. Apply a coating of graphite grease to new cable. Insert end of cable with driving lug into casing end having small swivel nut. Then push cable through casing. Place end of casing with larger swivel nut against suitable block and pull cable out this end of casing until groove into which C washer seats is exposed. Use fingertips to slip C washer into groove and end of cable. Then easily pull back the cable, letting it fit back into the end of the casing. Yeah, sure, right. 70, and that's, 70 years ago. And that's what it's all supposed to look like when it's done, right? So we figured, okay, how hard can this be? <laughs> Does this give you any indication on how hard this is? It? That's the brand new outer casing. Yes. Yes, the outer casing was much, much, much too large for the inner ca cable. So, we, uh, what did you do with it? Cable? Right, yeah. right there. Right there. So, we proceeded, once we figured out what we weren't doing, it says, okay, we got to shorten up this cable. So, in the process of shortening up the cable, and I don't know how good you're going to see this, but this end came off and not only did it come off oops, I don't know if you can see it or not because even a new phone's going to have a hard time with this but you can see it's split let's see if I can get it over here where the phone focuses so it split while we were trying to widen it back out to fit over the casing and we're like oh crap now what 
So, luckily, uh, my plumbing skills, and uh, we just soldered it. And, uh, yeah, it worked out really well. So I just soldered it like you'd solder a plumbing joint. Wow, that focus really stinks, huh? There it is. So yeah, I just heated up the outer, the outer part, and it sucked the solder right up in it. Now, of course, you have to make sure everything's really clean, but, but yeah, it uh, took right off. And uh, it took a couple of tries to make sure we had the right length. But uh, yeah, there it is, brand new cable. So we're all set. And it only took a couple hours. Like any other project. Like any other project we do. Rebuild a World War II truck, they said. So bear with me while the camera jumps around a little bit. Because I can't do this one-handed. And still hold the phone. Hold the phone! So, there. Okay. So now, we're putting away all the superfluous crap. The spare motor is still sitting there, and it's wow. it's unaffectionate glory. And uh, we were talking about uh, putting the uh, new fuel level fuel tank float in, but I don't think that's going to happen because Skippy's got a nut he's got to fish out. Uh, yeah, well, the screws. The, yeah. I want, to, I want to put threads on these. You want to put threads Monsters. on what? Oh, yeah, we're going to do... So our next little project is we got... I I say Sean got? New wiper motors. Now, these are generic wiper motors. And, uh... Ooh. But conspicuously, you'll notice, they're not threaded. And the military wiper arms need threads. So we're going to try to tap threads on that. And, uh, I'm gonna try to tap it. Ah. Tapping it? Yeah, I'm gonna try tapping tap it. it. There's been a lot of that's what she said jokes going on today. Yeah. Sean's been yelling, it's like, you're missing all this good material. <laughs> well, we were knee deep and trying to put things together. So. I mean, these weren't, these were fairly inexpensive. They were around like 35 bucks or 38 bucks a piece really? for six volt motors. But unfortunately, there is no instructions. Ah, it's just like everything else on this truck. So they oh, no they, instructions. They, they give you a little baggie. Oh, wait, show the baggie. They give you a little baggie of, of parts. Oh, yep, there it is. And they give you the motor. But yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. So it's up to you to figure out how you want to adapt them to work in your application. Correct. So we're going to start to adapt. And overcome and uh when we come decide we're done good bad or otherwise i'll bring you back and let you know what we're doing boy that phone flips great huh so yeah we'll come back to this and i think this is probably gonna be the last project of the day the speedometer cable was kind of tough go to check they said it's fine they said all right i'll bring you back in a minute Sean, Sean's has, got his, has to show off his little switch. I took one of the little nightlight knobs and just has nothing on it. So now he's got that, so he can put it on his brand new. Okay, it goes on Look there. at that, huh? That's a switch that'll control his wiper motor. Mm -hmm. You'll never know. You'll never know. See that? Everybody will know now because it's on YouTube. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to play with this. We'll be back. Well, bat fans, I think we've come to the end of another road. So the wiper motor thing didn't pan out. The generic wiper motors, six volt wiper motors that Sean got, are for a Model A Ford, but they're a universal type. <clears throat> well, the pivot shaft on them is like a quarter inch in diameter, and the uh, CCKW wiper arms are only like a ten. So it's like three sizes smaller. And we tried brainstorming a couple of things and without making it messy. It's probably not going to happen. So. Yeah, we're going to call it quits on that one for a while. What else do you think you're skippy? I don't know. Um, I guess. 
Yes, I've got that. That uh, starter. Uh oh. Oh yeah. So here's Sean's other project. Oh. Here. You gotta move the manual. Let me spin this around. So yeah, green box. <laughs> Sean's got a green box now. That says signal core on it. So Sean got this for the truck. And this is what goes in that truck. See if I can do this. So it says signal core on it. He's trying to steal my thunder. No, I'm not. But anyhow, he got this. And that actually bolts in the CCKW. Um, but as you can tell, this one's kind of kind of seen better days. So if you open this up, maybe. You can see the speaker in it. That's where you select your frequencies and your volume went on and off. Yeah. And all your trims. And it's kind of... It needs recapped and all the tubes need checked. So, Happy's just going to gut it and uh, redo the box. Refinish the box. And then put a modern 8-ohm speaker in it. And then uh, it's basically just become a speaker box because he's talking about hiding a modern radio inside the glove box and then having this play the sound of the modern radio that's hidden in the glove box. So I don't know how much radio listening to we're going to be doing while the truck's running, but yeah. it's an enclosed cab, so one can hope. But yeah, so he can do that on his, he can gut that on his own. I think that's well within his expertise. Yep. He's pretty good. He's pretty good at destroying shit. I can I can destroy things with the best of them. Yeah. Free assembly that's an issue. But. It's usually why I get involved. Yep. Oh, did you do any good on the fuel filter? No. No. So while we were dying the other day, two videos ago, pulling stuff off the truck, we pulled the fuel filter off. And uh. I don't know that that can be saved. Yeah. So here's the I'm, I'm trying to see fuel last, filter. They didn't put elements in here. They put little metal oh. discs in here. Oh yeah. That okay. is, that's the element. Okay. So here, that's the element that goes down inside of this thing, and you can see it's all rusty, crusty. So anyhow, and then uh, that's what's inside of it. Ugh. It's ugly. It's not a clacker. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Sand, but sand blasting it would would hurt. So we gotta do something with this. Sometime this week we're gonna do something with this. Either that or we're just gonna. Might be worth just paying hundred bucks to get a new one. Yeah. Hopefully next weekend we're gonna try to start this motor. I think we're going to call it a day. It's uh, another day, another Saturday in the life of rebuilding a truck. Mm -hmm. so. All right, and on that note, nice short video, what, 10 minutes? Not even 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe a little more than 10 minutes. So that makes up for the hour one from last week. So uh, next weekend, I'm sure it'll be fun. You get to watch us try to blow a motor up. Oh, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. So, anyhow, if you like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, any questions, put them down in the comments. We'll check out my email. That's going to be down here someplace. And then somewhere over Sean's head, I'll put my subscribe to the channel with my mug on it. And then a playlist somewhere like over yonder someplace. It'll probably block his face, but nobody wants to see his face anyway, right? Nope. Uh, so there'll probably be a playlist over here. Um, like, subscribe, share the videos with everybody. I've got uh, four more, three more subscribers, so thank you. Um, I guess we'll see you next weekend. Yep, see you next weekend.
see it down the yard. Yeah, we'll go down the yard. So then. Bye, YouTube. You're showing that I played him. Yep. <laughs>